Hey animal enthusiasts and pet hobbyists, it's Joelle here again, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a guide to the most common hitchhikers that we'll find in our freshwater aquariums. Let's get into it. Number 1. Bladder Snails Bladder snails are a small species of freshwater snail that is characterized by a left-turning shell with 4-5 to five whorls. These snails can be controversial in the aquarium hobby, since some consider them pest snails as they can quickly reproduce and overrun their tank while others call them beneficial tank cleaners that eat algae, leftover food, and dying plant matter. These gastropods enter our tank through live plants, often in the form of eggs. Number 2. Ram's Horn Snails Ram's Horn Snails are characterized by their shell, which is shaped similar to that of a ram's horn. These snails too may be considered pests as they quickly reproduce and overpopulate the tank. They will feed on algae, leftover food, and decaying organic matter. They enter the tank through live plants. Number three, bloodworms. Bloodworms are not actually a true worm, rather the larvae of a flying insect called a midge. These organisms are harmless and are often sold as live food since they make the perfect snack for many species of fish. They enter our aquarium through live food and stagnant water. Number four, mosquito larvae. The larval form of a mosquito is a harmless aquatic arthropod which feeds on detritus and microorganisms. These larvae will also be seen as a tasty snack for many species of fish. They enter our aquarium through live food or by mosquitoes laying eggs if the water has low flow or is stagnant. Number 5. Dragonfly Nymph Although not very common, dragonfly nymphs may enter your tank through live plants or dragonflies laying eggs if near the outdoors. If you see a dragonfly nymph, you should try to remove it immediately since they will consume small fish, shrimp, snails, and pretty much anything you can catch. Number 6. Damselfly Nymph Damselfly nymphs may enter your aquarium through live plants or damselflies laying eggs if the aquarium is near the outdoors. If spotted in your tank, they should be removed as soon as possible since they will eat fry, small fish, shrimp, and snails. These nymphs are characterized by their tails, which have three leaf-like prongs, which are actually their gills, located at the end of their abdomen. Number 7. Water Mites There are thousands of species of water mites found worldwide, but the ones most commonly found in aquariums and ponds prefer slow-moving or stagnant water. Most are predatory and feed on zooplankton or insect larvae. In large numbers, they might even irritate fish. They enter our aquarium through live plants or rocks collected from the outdoors. Number 8. Daphnia Daphnia is a harmless freshwater crustacean that feeds on suspended particles in the water since they are filter feeders. They make an excellent snack for many freshwater fish and enter our aquariums through live feedings as leftovers. Number 9. Hydroids Hydroids are the only freshwater organisms in the phylum Cnidaria. This phylum also includes sea jellies and anemones, which is why hydroids may resemble tiny sea anemones. At a small size, hydroids may pose a threat to fry and baby shrimp. They enter our aquariums through live plants and rocks. So yeah guys, that was my list for freshwater aquarium hitchhikers. If you want to see more of these types of videos, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.